Good afternoon, it's 4.30, just past 4.30 p.m. in the UK. You're looking to do at least three of these hangouts spread out throughout the week, just in a bit of a test mode at the moment. We either do them around 4.30 p.m. or sort of 2 p.m. UK or even better still 9 p.m. So just testing a few different times throughout the day. They're going to be uh, more or less a repeat process, mainly for the new people coming on board. Any extra questions people want to ask, we're already active using this um, this crypto order trader, okay? so. Um, Tony's the main guy, he's on the call right now, and uh, the normal process is he'll go through a, a quick presentation for all the new people, and then we normally open up the microphones if you want to come on live on video or just ask questions in the chat. So basically we can all learn from each other. I am recording this then, um, and I normally put this into the group then, so people can catch up um, with the recordings. I've only been in this business now, um, CEW Crypto World, sorry, CWE Crypto World Evolution since uh, a week yesterday, so more or less seven days my robot has been trading for me. I'm very happy with the results. I'm, I'm in the green. I'm in positive. So uh, things are going great so far. Just been seven days in myself. I came in at the, with a $2,000 package. I also bought um, two other $500 packages, one on my right and one on my left on the binary. Hopefully, totally ex explain the advantages of that. So I've got an invested interest at the moment of around $3,000 into the actual robot itself. And obviously, I've invested $10,000 of, of my own money into one of the robots right now using my finance um, exchange account, you know, so everything's looking good so far guys, so I'm going to pass it over to Tony to give a, a quick presentation, then we go into Q&A. Uh, over to you, thanks a lot Tony. No worries, thanks for the introduction Adrian, I'm going to, uh, as Adrian said, just run a, a quick overview, uh, bottom line is, is um, you know, it's a really simple concept what we're dealing with, and it's really exciting, you know, um, it, it's something that's, that's helped me uh, really through a, a downturn in the cryptocurrency market, uh, continue to profit and so we're going to do a quick overview I'm going to share with you uh, kind of how the bots work a little bit of a training on my back office on the bots and then we'll we'll close it out with a little Q&A as Adrian said so I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here so you guys can can see everything um, it, it, is that showing up for you guys can you guys see this see the screen all right Adrian yeah that's fine yeah great Cheers, perfect man. perfect so uh, going through these, these quick slides like I said crypto world evolution is the name of the company and they were formed in actually about a year ago. Uh, my friend Tomas Perez started this company, he really started the bots, the, the trading software. After testing it for about six months, he launched the company out of Madrid, Spain, and South Korea. And then about a month ago, a little over a month ago, he contacted me uh, to, to help assist with the expansion into the United States. And when they shared with me the software and, and the information that I'm gonna share with you guys, You'll understand why I got so excited. So um, how to make money in cryptocurrency, there's a lot of ways to do it. Uh, there's buying and holding, there's mining, whether you're doing, you know, investing in mining operations or whether you've got your own, you know, $100 million operation. Uh, and then there's trading cryptocurrencies. Um, for, for me, I was doing a little bit of buying and holding. I was doing a little bit of mining, but I really wasn't trading any cryptocurrencies at all until I met with Tomas. And, and when I went to meet him, the mission statement of the company is what attracted me. And, I, and I'll share with you that. It says to, to, the mission of the company is to provide state-of-the-art, cutting-edge technology and innovative uh, tools to realize maximum profits when trading in cryptocurrencies. And the second part of this is what, what really excited me. Thus ensuring increased profits and benefits to all of our members in their personal trading accounts. And why that's a big deal is pretty much every company in this space right now has the same model. We have to send our Bitcoin to them. So we gather our Bitcoin or our Litecoin or Ethereum or our cash money, whatever it is, pounds, dollars, and we send it out to Dubai or wherever the company's located. And right. they do their mining, they do their trading, they use everybody's Bitcoin together and we've got to kind of pray that they honor the agreement, that they send us the profits, that they do what it was they said they were going to do. And when Tomas contacted me, he said, you know, Tony, he goes, with Crypto World Evolution, we're going to allow the client to control their own Bitcoin 100% of the time. And I like that idea. I like the idea of not having to send my Bitcoin out to somebody and hope they were going to do the right thing. And so this software allows to trade altcoins and Bitcoins 24 hours a day, 
seven days a week, 365 days a year. Because the problem with trading on our own, you know, my friend said, you know, he's, he's an exceptional trader. He's got professional traders that work for the company. They say, you know, what to buy is easy. They say, listen, everybody can, can figure out what to buy. Well, for me, I'd never traded cryptocurrency. I didn't know what to buy. So that was difficult for me. But then he said, even for, for the great folks, people that are great traders, when to sell can be difficult. Um, I, I know if you've been in, in cryptocurrency at all over the last few months, probably seen Ripple. You know, I, I had a friend that told me about Ripple at like 17 cents a coin, and I bought a bunch of it. And he had bought it even cheaper than that. And then it went up to over $3 a coin. And then it dropped back down to under $2 a coin. I think it's going to go back up. A lot of people do. But a lot of my friends who are pros didn't sell at $3 a coin. And we all look back, hindsight's 2020. Why didn't we sell when it hit that peak? Well, CWA has a solution. They've created software that will help people in the process of buying and selling different cryptocurrencies. And the products are exceptional. There's more products that are coming. There's a hybrid product right now for, for more people who know how to trade, know how to read charts. It will allow you to pick a coin, pick a stop loss, pick the amount that you want to invest, and then click buy. And it will execute a purchase of that coin. And then the software will make the sell for you when it feels like, hey, we've hit a peak. We've hit an area where you're going to make money. There's probably going to be a dip coming. It might skyrocket back up, but we want to sell on the dip. Then what I was interested in was the fully automatic software where it does all the buying and all the selling. It chooses 15 coins automatically. We can add to it, uh, subtract from it a little bit. Uh, we have to have 15 coins in there, but after you do, it'll do all the buying and selling for us uh, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Uh, the bots are capable of performing hundreds of functions without any human interaction. We do have a team involved that basically is updating the functions, creating new bots for us to be able to use here in the near future. So they're constantly making sure that the bots are performing at optimal levels. Uh, I'm going to go through my bots a little bit for you uh, so you guys can see how they work. But uh, there's two membership levels, how you can get involved with this software. The first is a 500. These are based on U.S. dollars, basically. $500 membership allows you to trade up to $2,500 at one time within your bot program. There's a $2,000 membership that Adrian talked about, the one he purchased, that will allow you to, to trade up to $10,000 at one particular time within your exchange. Um, I want to go into the compensation plan very briefly, um, and, and we've got videos that will explain it more in depth, but there's several ways the company pays us. There's a direct commission. If you introduce me to the company, I pay for the $2,000 membership, boom, it pays you 15%, $300 in U.S. dollars, basically. If I introduce my sister, there's an indirect commission you get, You'd make 5%. If she bought the $2,000 membership, boom, you make $100. There's a binary compensation plan as well. Uh, it's extremely lucrative. It pays up to $10,000 per day. There's also a matrix plan. Uh, we have to send 20% of our profits from the trading software go back to the company. A lot of companies in this industry, a lot of professional traders, I have some friends that will trade for people. Um, they charge a 50% fee. And some of their results are not as good as our software. So 20% is fairly standard, actually a little low for, for software that has this type of results and track record over 12 months. Um, but we pay a little percentage out to the company. Part of that percentage funnels into the matrix. And that's really long term where the big residuals are and where the biggest part of the income is in the comp plan. And then there's unit level promotions where you can actually qualify for profit sharing globally. The last thing I want to I want to wrap up with the last slide is our compliance slide. The bottom line, there's a lot of companies in this industry that aren't really doing things the right way. And CWE is committed to doing things the right way and building the right way. And the bottom line, as well as I've done with these bots, and I've done extremely well, I'm going to share that with you. I'm allowed to talk about what happened for me in the past. But that doesn't guarantee it's going to continue to happen for me in the future. It doesn't guarantee it's going to happen for you in the future. Anytime we're trading, 
there's never any guarantees. I've lost money in the stock market. I've made money in the stock market. Commodities, I've bought oil and made money, and I've bought oil and lost money. But the bottom line is this. We can never guarantee returns because CWE doesn't control the market. But what we can look at are targets, are triggers, and the, these software programs can do things that human beings just flat out can't cover. And so I want to wrap up the slideshow, and I do want to share with you guys some of the software and, and how the program is set up. So uh, can you guys see my, my, it's called my trading dashboard. Is that showing up on the screen okay? Yeah, that's fine. That's fine, Tony. So I'm going to go into the, the trading, and, and it shows some of my orders. The, the, the dashboard actually wasn't even updated all the way when I started trading on December 28th. So there are some more trades that you won't even see in there, but I'll show you uh, all the trades from, from the download of my Binance account. So the first thing we do is we set up an API key to connect with our exchange. And that's pretty simple to do. There's tutorial videos to do that. I was going to mention, if you guys have questions, I've seen a few people popping them in the chat. Feel free to continue to pop your questions into the chat. Once I'm done, um, Adrian and myself will do a little Q&A, and I'll, I'll read some of those questions and answers for you guys. So going into the bots, once you connect your API key, your, your software now can communicate with your exchange. Now, they can never withdraw money from your exchange. They never have access to the money in our exchanges. So it can just read the balances, and it can trade. It can buy and sell altcoins. Now, the robots, how they're programmed, and I'll go through this. So I turned on some bots when I first started uh, around December 28th. So you can see like in this bot, the first purchase and sell that completed was on the 28th. And what it'll do, it'll, it'll buy, there's 15 coins it automatically looks for. Um, you can add to it, you can subtract from it, you've gotta have at least 15 coins in. So I remember I added Vin in there, Quantum in there, OMG in there, I added those coins. These are about the 15 that start. If you drop below 15, it says, hey, you know, you've gotta get 15 coins in there. So that's okay, so I put Zcash back in there, no problem. And now that I've got 15 coins, the bot can work perfectly. Now, what it looks for is 12 triggers in each of these coins. And so let's say it's looking at Ethereum, for instance. It's going to look at the price, the historical price. It's going to look at the future predictive pricing. Where does it look like this thing's going to head to? It's going to look at social media. How many people have just tweeted about Ethereum in the last 15 minutes? How many people have have Google searched Ethereum in the last half hour. And it's gonna look at those targets, and when it hits all 12 triggers, it, it likes what it sees, bang, it executes a purchase. Once it purchases a coin, it will never sell it at a loss. Now that doesn't mean you're guaranteed to make money. There are coins that go up, and there's coins that it buy that, that it goes down. What I've seen, and no guarantees on this, but over the time I've been trading and I've seen some historical trading from some of my buddies that have had the software longer, out of every 10 trades, about eight of them go up fairly quickly within 24 to 48 hours and they close out green and they take a profit. About two of the 10 trades will go down and they'll stay down for three days or more. Now in this particular bot, from the 28th to the second, every trade closed out green, it was profitable, it will never take less than 1% profit. But I do want to share with you, there's ways where you can force it to take a loss. And a lot of people go, why would you do that? Well, I want to go into that philosophy real quickly. And I have a bot that I started, I remember, on the 5th of the month. And I started this bot during a Zoom meeting like this. And it started buying quite a few coins. It was a good market. Things were, were, were looking up. And I want, to, I want to just kind of show you guys all of these trades that came out. So over from the 5th to the 14th, so about nine days, this bot executed 141 entries. And so if you look at all these entries, most of the older ones, I just let it go. They closed out profitable. They closed out profitable, minimum 1%. I guess some of them, you know, 4 or 5%, some of them 9%, you know, 10%. If you look at the first page, the older trades closed out, 1% or more, 1%, some 6%, some 2%, some 3s, some 5s. Each trade has about $150 in U.S. dollars in action. And, and so that's what's at risk. You know, if, if 
Litecoin went to zero, that trade, I, I would lose my $150. Now, I don't believe Litecoin's going to go to zero. I think it's going to keep skyrocketing uh, over the next year, over the next two years, uh, potentially over the next five to 10 years. But I could be wrong. Like I said, there's no guarantees. But Bill Gates thinks cryptocurrency is better, is better than regular currency. I think he's right. Now, he might be wrong, but he's a pretty smart guy. Elon Musk is the same way. A lot of people really believe this is here to stay. And there's two philosophies, really, with these Autobots that people run with. Number one, I've got a friend that trades them, and he says, I never sell out. I never take a loss. I let the bots just do their thing, and eventually, I believe the coins are going to rally, and it'll take a profit. The other philosophy is, I've got a friend that says, listen, if eight out of 10 trades are quick winners and only two kind of lose and stand still for a while, he goes, I force them to sell if I think the market's going to go up because I want to free up that capital to do more trading. And so I did that. So you'll see some blue uh, boxes to the side that say user sold here. That means I said, you know what? I think the market's going to go up. I'm selling out. I'm going to force it to take a loss on Zcash, on Dash, on Binance, on Ripple, um, you know, Iota, all these ones you see user sold. Now, my bot, it had closed out so many winners, it was still up. I wanted to free up capital. Now, hindsight's 2020. I was actually wrong. The market didn't really take an upturn, but it didn't go down again. It just kind of stayed where it was for a while. Um, on some of these coins, if I'd have waited about a week or two, it would have rallied and I would have made money anyways. But I didn't. So, you know, that was a bit of a risk I took and it didn't pan out, but I was still profitable. Here's what I look at. I'm going to share with you guys my Binance account. These are my deposits. So if I go into my deposit page, and there's no guarantees that this will happen for you, but from December 28th to today, the most money I've ever deposited is about 0.57 Bitcoin. You can add it up. It's actually like 0.567, but I, I just round it up. So let's just call it 0.57 Bitcoin total is what I've invested into this account to let my bots trade with. Right now, as we're talking, I have 0.956 Bitcoin. Now, the price of Bitcoin can go up and down. I'm not really worried about that. What I want is I want more Bitcoin. I want these bots to sell and buy and create more Bitcoin for my account. And that's what they've done. So you can see I've got Stellar, Cardano, Ripple, Binance, Stratus, Ethereum Classic, Monero, Gold, Zcash, Litecoin. It is, it is constantly looking. It's using the Bitcoin balance to find altcoins to buy to help me increase the amount of Bitcoin that I have. So right through a crash in the marketplace, the amount of Bitcoin I have has gone from 0.57 to 0.95, as you guys have seen total, the total value. Now, if I sell out of all these altcoins, it'll still be 0.956 Bitcoin. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to continue to be there. If my company uh, shuts down tomorrow, if my friend says, oh, I'm done with these bots, I'm out, uh, which would be crazy. You know, they're, they're going through a lot of success. We're growing really fast. They're trading about $280 million in assets between the exchanges. But, you know, the bottom line is this. If he said, I'm done, I'm shutting the bots down right now while we were on this webinar, I would still have 0.956 Bitcoin. Nothing would change for me. He doesn't have access to that Bitcoin. He doesn't have access to that money. That's mine. And so the difference between us and almost every other company in this space is we send our Bitcoin to them. If they shut down their company, see you later. Our stuff is gone. They have it and it's theirs. With CWE, that's not the case. I'm in control of my money at all times and so are you. So that's pretty much the nuts and bolts. That's how the, that's how the bots work. I want to uh, set up for, for more of a Q&A here and, and let you guys kind of share some of the questions you have. So I'm going to make this full screen here. Let's see. We've got Quite yep. a few questions on, quite a few questions. I'll start to go through them. Um, Jess says, um, are there any plans to add custom strategy scripting, uh, back testing for those who are already pro traders? Um, not yet. They don't have customized uh, bots and scripts. Uh, th there's two new bots coming out in the next 60 days or so. 
those might have some more uh, options for customization. I don't know the exact details, but we'll find out. Um, there is a hybrid bot that will allow you to set prices, pick particular coins, set your own stop losses, and then the bots are going to make the sales for you. Um, but definitely, you know, uh, that's something we can chat with the company about over the next few days, few weeks, as far as for the pro traders, are there going to be some abilities to customize the scripting? Um, I, I, you know, I think that's a great opportunity. Um, for right now, there's not, but I, I think that could, could come in the near future. Um, let's see. Um, um, somebody says, I know, I think Jesse again, someone who wrote a script to scan Twitter and uh, trades on that and it's killer money. Our bots do scan that already. So that is something that's scripted in. They will look at Twitter. They will look at uh, Google. They'll look at YouTube, how many people tagged Ripple in a YouTube video. And so it'll, it'll definitely do that. Um, so someone says, uh, if we can keep creating new bots, they'd like to know if we can keep creating new bots with the Bitcoin amount in the upper left green box when it uh, reached past 150 or so, would that affect our trading or earnings? If you've got a limit of 2,500, if you've got a limit of 10,000, you can create enough new bots to trade up to that limit. Um, in theory, you can create, if each bot was trading about 150, you could, you know, I guess in theory, create about 60 bots, uh, you know, potentially more if it trades a little lower, you know, 100 per bot. I, I usually like to manage about five, six, maybe seven bots at one time. That's just me. I've got people that turn on two or three bots at one time. I've got people that have 10, 15, 20 bots at one time. So it's more personal preference than anything. Um, so if someone asked the, the bots about um, why have you paused all your robots? I have some bots that are on right now. Um, the market, I, I believe in February, it's going to spike. The only reason I've been turning on, I, I'm kind of waiting for that spike to happen. The reason I'm turning on some new bots now usually is just for these webinars it, more than anything. Um, I, I might be wrong. I'm not a professional. Uh, I would ask a professional trader when the time, w w when the best time to be in these bots is when, when the market's rising, when altcoins and Bitcoin are going up, cryptocurrencies going up. Um, I think that's going to happen over the next few days. If I'm right, um, I've got some bots that are turned on right now. Um, I just turned one on. I guess this one was January 25th. It's still active. So it's currently buying. I just bought Bitcoin Cash probably not too long ago, I guess, today. Um, it's got some Stratus. It's got some gold. Um, there's going to be open trades, closed trades in here. The bottom line is I'm going to let these things play for a little while. I believe the market's going to rip up. I probably won't do any sell nows until the market starts to turn up. And that's just my philosophy. Once again, there's no right or wrong. Um, there's people that during that down market traded a lot of hybrids, and they made a lot of money during the crash because they were picking individual coins. My hybrids, um, I've done one hybrid in my life. So a hybrid lets you choose it, choose the coin and the buy price and it'll sell. I heard OMG was gonna go up, so I bought it and it ended up going up and it sold it for me automatically for a 3.56% gain. It was about 15, 18 bucks. I think I put about, about $500 into that hybrid. I've seen people put $2,500 into a hybrid. The pro traders, they know what they're doing. Uh, you could put 10 grand into one hybrid if you wanted to. I'm not that old, I guess, and I don't have that knowledge. So I put about 500 in there. That was, that was pretty good for me. Um, so let me go to the, the next few questions here. Um, so somebody says, Adrian and Tony, can you give tips what altcoins to add to the existing 15 coins which have potential to profit? Um, I don't really give my own tips. I get them right? From people like Jesse, from people who are pro traders and friends of mine. There's a website I use called walletinvestor.com. That's a decent little website. You can click on forecast and see what's going on. Um, sometimes it's right. Sometimes it's wrong. So there's, there's for me, uh, there's nothing really crazy. Like Jesse said, if you see stuff on Twitter on a certain coin, add it in there. It'll let you add as many coins as you want. Uh, you can throw it on in there. Uh, can we add multiple exchanges to the bots? Yes. Um, you can't use two APIs for one exchange in one account. You can't use two Binance APIs and have them both in that, that robot account at once. But you can have a Binance account running, a Bittrex, an OKEx, and a hit BTC. All four exchanges all running simultaneously for your bots at one time. Um, how much for the bot? It is a lifetime payment. There's two memberships. A $500 membership 
is trading up to $2,500. A, a $2,000 membership allows you to trade up to $10,000. Uh, it is an annual membership. And so each year, you'll just need to renew it if you want to keep using the bots to trade. My bots, to give you an idea, over about four weeks, uh, I, I printed this out from the 27th. This is my trade history on finance. So my bots over about a month executed a little over 2,306 operations. And so that's where, you know, like I said, as a, as a human being, uh, we're going to have a real hard time competing with that. Um, I'll share that with you guys just so you can see it real quick. So these are my trades downloaded over about a month. I mean, it literally just never stops. It doesn't sleep. It doesn't eat. It doesn't need rest. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. If you have a bot turned on, it is looking for altcoins and triggers to buy to help you increase your amount of Bitcoin in your account. Um, let's see. How do I join? Yeah, the $500 membership or the, or, or the $2,000 membership. Whoever invited you to this webinar, get with the leadership, get with them. Um, right now, we're just, we're independent software providers. And so you send us the funds. We help set you up. Um, in a, about a week or so, the company's going to have some referral links that we can use where you can just go through the company. But for right now, like when my friend told me about it, I just sent him a couple thousand worth of Bitcoin and he set me up and got me trading. Uh, there's some tutorial videos I used. I kind of taught myself. I just, I followed the instructions and started trading with the bots. Um, will there be an option to remove certain bots? You, you can definitely pause bots at any time. Um, you can take off certain coins. You've got to have at least 15 coins, no matter what, uh, in the automatic mm -hmm. bots, but you can, you can add or remove those as well. Um, somebody said they're new to learning bots. Uh, they do some day trading on coins. What are the differences in day trading? Uh, Cause they buy and sell all coins. Um, that's a great question. What I would say is this, I don't know how much you day trade, but I don't think I could make 2,300 accurate trades with triggers in one month as a human being. So the main difference for me is being able to have trades going on while I'm sleeping. What if something happens and the market's going up and I'm driving, I'm on a road trip and I'm not able to get on my phone and trade. Maybe I'm playing tennis. Maybe I'm on the golf course, whatever it is, these bots don't play tennis. They don't take breaks to golf. They don't take trips to drive in. So if I'm using my bots to trade, they're 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. So that's, that's one of the main differences. They, they'll pick up something while you're sleeping that you might miss. Um, um, Please share the buying link, want to go for it. Uh, whoever invited you down, they're going to have to send you the link. Uh, we have our own wallets in the back office that we can have you send Bitcoin to that wallet and they can help you get started. So whoever invited you down, uh, get with them and they'll help you get started, no problem. Uh, welcome, to the, welcome to the CWE family, Ashford. We're excited to have you. Uh, definitely excited to get you trading with these bots and experiencing what I experienced. When I first started, to be honest, I've never traded. I had no desire to learn how to trade. I just wanted to turn this software on and let it go. After a week, I was like, I, it went really well. I'm watching it. I started to, to have fun with it. I was excited. I was like, all right, now I need to learn what coins to trade. And I told people probably even up to about a week ago, I was like, I'm never going to do a hybrid bot. I don't have any desire to do the hybrids. I just want to let the software do its thing. And then some of my friends who are professional traders and they're doing hybrids and they're just making a bunch of money, making more money than I did on the bots. I'm up like 40%, no guarantees, obviously, but up 40% over a month during a down month in crypto. So I thought I was, that's amazing. I've got buddies that are up over 100% this month trading hybrids. They know what they're doing. So next thing you know, I'm trading hybrids. I told you guys, I shared with you the, the only hybrid I ever set up, the first one. I got excited and I'm sure I'll trade a lot more as I get more and more tips. Um, somebody said, are you waiting for the end of the end of China New Year, February 16th for Bitcoin? I don't know. Um, I, I, I'm waiting for February. I've heard February is going to be big. Uh, if you think that the end of the uh, of the new year and the 16th is going to be real big, that's when you're going to want to have bots going heavy. Um, but, you know, for me, like I said, I'm not a pro trader. Uh, I'm just somebody that's that's having fun with it um, and it's going up. 
I'm not going to put my life savings into Bitcoin or anything like that. I, I think that's crazy, you know, but there's people out there that put their life savings into Bitcoin in 2011 and they think I'm crazy for not doing it. You know, they're, they're, they're worth hundreds of millions of dollars, some of those people. So, you know, the bottom line is I, I, I'm a little, I guess I've got a lot of risk tolerance, but to a point. Um, and so, you know, I'm not going to sit there and time it out. I know this, uh, from 2015 to, to, to 2016 to 2017 to 2018, altcoins and bitcoins have fairly done the same thing. In January in 2015, they went down. February, they went back up. 2016, down in January, February, back up. 2017, down in January, February, back up. 2018, down in January. That's all we know. I believe that it's going to continue the trend and it's going to go back up. I could be wrong. But if I'm right, and if a lot of other brilliant people are right that think it's going back up, we're going to want to have these bots at our disposal. We're going to want to be trading heavy in the cryptocurrency space if what happens in February this year is the same thing that's happened in the past. Now, again, there's no guarantees, but I believe that the past does help us be able to predict certain future occurrences. And so I've got these bots ready to rock and roll for me. Some of them are turned on right now, as you guys can see. So that's pretty much all the questions on there. I want to turn it back over to Adrian. Let him share any thoughts that he has. Let you guys maybe open it up on the microphone. So, um, you know, he's an amazing leader. He's somebody I, I've looked up to. I knew who Adrian was long before he ever knew who I was. And, and so I'm excited to be able to, to learn from him. And I'm excited to be able to have, uh, you know, some kind of, of, of assistance that I can offer to him in any way, shape, or form to help his team grow and to help you guys learn this amazing software. So okay. over to you, Adrian. Yeah, thanks a lot, Tony. It just, just, just seemed to have a couple of questions come through privately to me. I'm not sure if they realize they're sending them privately and not public. Uh, there's one from Kevin, a bit of a long one. He's saying he does day trading. I'm not sure if you answered this. Uh, that's his job, he's saying. Um, on the day trading, you can set up your sell limit order so you don't have to check them out. If order trading bot doesn't help you, pick coins like robot trading, what should I use it and pay $2,000? Does that make sense? Yeah, so he's saying, oh, I want to set a stop limit. I want to do that. You can do that with the hybrid bot. Yeah. And, and so there is a bot that will allow you to do that. And as far as the sell price, the bots are going to choose that for us. They're going to let us know, hey, this is probably a peak. And if you're day trading, what my guys that make a lot of money with the hybrids do is they set up a hybrid. And then when it hits near a peak, it will sell. Then you watch it for a dip which usually comes right after the sell and they start another hybrid. So imagine you're day trading and you know this, this coin's a dollar a coin and it's going to go to $10. If you think that as a day trader, you set the buy at a dollar and then you set it to sell automatically at $10 and you set a stop loss and then you go do whatever you're going to do. And if you're right, it went from a dollar to $10. Boom. You did a great job. What the hybrid traders would do at the same time while you're doing that, they would set the buy at a dollar. The hybrid, let's say it goes up to three and then it sells it. And then they watch it and it goes down to two. They buy in again. They set another hybrid, a brand new one. It goes up to five. It sells again, drops back down to four. Boom. They set up a new hybrid at four. It goes up to eight. It sells goes back down to six, boom, they set another purchase at six, goes up to 10, it sells, bang, they think 10's the price as well, just like you did, so you made money from one to 10, great job. That hybrid made more money than you. It went up, sold, went back down, bought in again, went back up, bought that down, bought in again, it keeps selling, and, and you're riding the wave on the way up. So that's what those guys use, but there's two new bots that are coming out over the next 60 days, there's gonna be different functions for those bots. So some of the things that professional traders are looking for will probably be in there. In all honesty, these main bots that are set up are for people like me. They're for people that literally don't know what they're doing, they don't know how to trade, so we can turn them on and let them rock and roll for us. For those of you that know a little bit more, you can use the hybrid bots, and then obviously as we expand and get more and more new bots with new newer functions, some of the pro traders are gonna really be excited about that.
So back to you, Adrian. Okay, on the next Brian, and just one more question in the chat. What is the reason? Like I got two other questions as well myself. What is the reason of setting up multiple bots? Why can't I just open one bot, create one bot, and put 20, 30, 40, 50 coins into one bot? You can do that. There's the, that, there, that's definitely personal preference. For me, I've added certain coins that are a little riskier maybe. It's not Ethereum. You know, it's Digibyte. It's OMG. It's coins that potentially could fall down and maybe not come back. And so for me, I might not want all $10,000 worth of bots trading in that one Digibyte coin. I might just want 0.1 Bitcoin in one bot that trades Digibyte or uh, trades VIN or OMG or one of those coins that might, you know, the main 15 coins, you're going to see Ethereum, you're going to see Monero, you're going to see Ripple, you're going to see Ethereum Classic, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Gold, you're going to see some pretty major altcoins kind of the big 15 and so when i when i stray from that and i start to add or subtract i personally don't want all my bots working on that same same coin potentially but that's personal preference um the other reason i have multiple bots at least four or five running is because they're all individual so they they work and make decisions within milliseconds but if you've got certain bots that are full up and you say put 0.1 Bitcoin in and you have certain coins that they're going after, I just want another bot that might be going after a different set of coins. And again, that's my personal preference. So they can make decisions on those coins that I added versus the coins that aren't in the other bots. So back to you, Adrian. Okay, that's great. Um, the other thing is, um, yeah, uh, with regards to my account, okay, question from me. This says, um, I, got, I got three accounts, so you can set up as many accounts as you want, or you, uh, you can buy as many licenses as you want. Um, let me know on that one. And also, with regards to me, I got a $2,000 license, and I got two $500 licenses. I got three robots, one at the top, one right, and one left. That's the best way to um, position that. Just um, clarify that as well. But with regards to my Binance, I've only got one Binance account right now with my $10,000 worth of uh, investment in there, my 0.882 Bitcoin, which I put in last week. With regards to the two $500 accounts I got, do you suggest I, I use my, my existing Binance account and run the three bots from there or set up another two Binance separate accounts to keep them all running separately? So, so that's a great question, Adrian. I, I, I guess for the, for the first one, as far as the limits to trade, there is the avail availability to upgrade. So one position is able to trade up to half a million dollars. Each 10,000 cost $2,000 uh, of a license. Now they're doing a, so 50 licenses, you could trade half a million dollars basically. Um, right now, if you get 34 licenses, you can trade up to half a million dollars. They're giving you 15,000 to be able to trade. And so, you can upgrade, but you have to have the available balance in your exchange. The company, the software will look at it and see if you have at least 10,000 in licenses uh, to be able to trade the full amounts that you want to trade. Now, as far as your question, Adrian, that's really more personal preference, I believe. Um, if you've got the ability to trade 15,000 because you've got your tri-pack, you've got your top spot at 2,000 and then a couple at 500, I believe you can use the same API key for all three, or you can set up the same exchange, a different API key for all three accounts, um, or you could set up a different Binance account. Yeah. And I guess the question I would ask is, you know, do you want to track the bots differently in different accounts? See how much Bitcoin you loaded, see what it turns into. Um, do you want to play with maybe uh, riskier altcoins, not as popular altcoins with one of your 500 accounts. Maybe you only set it and let it go and you never close out the red trades on the other account. And then your main account, you manage it and do it kind of how your, your instinct tells you to do. So I'm still learning. I'm still testing. Uh, someone like yourself that's trading within those three accounts. I've got a couple accounts that I trade. One of them, I've never sold anything. I've let the bot just run. Uh, it's been running for three weeks now. Um, I don't really even look at it. I'm wait. I can, but I'm just waiting for the market to skyrocket back up, and I'll go take a look and see what happens. 
I don't look at it because I don't want to manage it. I want to have a test of if I just set up the automatic bots, turn them on and leave them on for a couple months, what happens? And I'll find out. Maybe that's a bad idea, but I've got that account trading with about 10 grand. And for me, that's just, I'm not too concerned of what happens to that money. I'm more concerned about how's this going to work out. Then my other account, I manage it. I move around, I, I add coins, I subtract coins, I pause the bots. As you guys have seen, I turn new ones on. So I want to see how I do. And you know what? If the fully automatic that I just turned on and left on beats me, then I'll probably just start turning them on and leaving them on. If I beat it and I do a better job, I'm going to start telling people, hey, you got to manage your accounts a little bit. So that's just my uh, preference. That's my philosophy. But I think you can do the same thing between your three accounts as well, Adrian. Yeah. So I could I could use I could have one Binance account and have hundred thousand dollars worth of trading over three or four different licenses or Correct. Four, whatever four or five different licenses in one Binance. I can do that. Yeah. You should be able to. Yep. That's yeah. doable. Yeah. Okay. That's great. And um, just explain to, to the new people here the difference between Bittrex and Binance. Binance you can obviously select your own coins, but Bittrex you can't. Why? Why is that? I, I believe it deals with the API. So it's more on Bitrix that won't let us choose our coins. If you have Hit BTC, you can choose your coins as well. Hit BTC will add very new altcoins. So just be careful which ones you put in. Some of those altcoins could go away. However, some of those altcoins, you could see 10, 20, 30x increases in them for sure. That happens. And so, um, you know, it really is your preference what you want to do. I don't have hit, I have hit BTC, but I haven't plugged it into my bots yet. I'm still kind of running those two main tests, fairly conservative, managing my account on Binance, and then just letting it run with the 15 coins that are picked automatically. Bittrex is the same way. It only picks those 15 coins. The only difference is you can't change them in and out. You can't add to them. And that's more the exchange that won't allow the software to do that versus the hit BTC and the Binance's that will. So with Bitrex, you're just relying on the on the on the robot to choose the own your own their own coins. Then you're not in control. Right. Anyway. It's yeah. just going to choose them. Now you can tell it when to pause. You can tell it how much you want the bot to play with. So you can still manage it to that extent. If you think Bitcoin and altcoins are going to crash, you can pause them all. You can manually trade. You know, once they're all traded out, you can manually trade into Tether. USDT and hold your money outside of the cryptocurrency market and then get back in later. So, you know, the bottom line is with Bitrix, yeah, there's less user management, but it still gives you some options to pause, to change the amounts and do those type of things, um, you know, as, as they do with the others. But you're I better like off, you're better using Binance, though. You're better off using Binance for somebody starting off? Or, or, or That's anyone, what right? I think. I, I like being able to choose my coins. And so I prefer Binance, and I, I kind of recommend people do Binance, in, in my opinion. Okay, that's brilliant. Can you just explain my last question for the, for the new people? What's the advantage or any disadvantage of, of the, $100, um, the $100 subscription, $100 license? That's really what we call a placeholder. Um, so you can sign up your spot, and then you know maybe you put a placeholder here and a placeholder here. It's a $100 spot. The advantage is down the road, if you build one big team under that spot, you could come back in and start to build a second team and make a lot of what we call cycle bonuses. So it deals with the binary compensation plan. Um, with an enrollment spot, you can't build two legs under the enrollment spot. You're only allowed to build one team under it. It cannot sponsor anybody. So it can never sponsor anybody. It can never make a commission. And the $100 does not credit towards the memberships. Mm. So it's gonna grow. It's gonna grow your um, your PVP or your points on that on that leg. Just, yeah, one leg. The points will grow, um, but that's it pretty much. Which is good. That's a good thing yeah. to have. Um, if you eventually see it grow and you say, you know what, I want to use that spot, you can pay a full five hundred dollars to start that membership or two thousand dollars to start that membership. The hundred dollars will not be credited towards the funding for the next membership but level. But if somebody is struggling to get into the business right now and they only got $100, they can play, get the $100 position. They, their points are going to build up over the next couple of weeks, months, and then they come in then later and they, they've got a bit of a leg building, haven't they? It's, it's already built. 
Poland. That's, that's, the Poland. that's definitely a possibility. That's something that they can do if they're really tied on funds. No doubt about it. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. Um, does anyone got any? Does anyone want to come live on the microphone to ask a question live before we call it a day? Hold on a minute. I'll unmute everyone, and um, there'll probably be a lot of feedback. But put your hand up, or or put a hand up in the in the chat here. I can see Tay has got his hand up. Hold on a minute. Let me bring Tay in before I unmute everyone. Yeah, go on, Tay. You're um, you're unmuted. Hi, guys. Can you hear me? Yeah. 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 How you doing? You're right. Um, Anthony, you answered my question before about the, um, the funds in the green box that keep appearing every now and then. This is from the traded um, earnings. This is not from like new money from my pocket. Can I still use that to um, make new bots? You should be able to, yeah. So what that green box should show you, if you have multiple exchanges or just one exchange, it should show you the Bitcoin balance within that exchange. So what's in yeah. Bitcoin? And then you're going to have your limit um in a red box and it's going to say available to trade yeah and if it says hey you've got two thousand dollars available and the green box says hey you've got two thousand dollars in your exchange then you'll be able to create more bots to be able to trade that two thousand if you have bots open and it's just not using that two thousand it's two reasons potentially number one uh, maybe that bot that you set at 0.1 Bitcoin has already got about 0.1 in trades and it won't trade more until it frees some up. Number two, yeah. it might have room to continue to trade, Tay, but the environment might, might, might not be right. Maybe the triggers are not being met and so those bots are just chilling. They're just waiting for a better environment to come in. So, you know, if you turn on more bots, it might start trading. If you turn on more bots, they might still just kind of wait right. for a better time. Yeah. Okay, good question, Tay. I'm just sharing my screen right now. Um, yeah. Tony? Can you see my screen, Tony? Yep, perfect. Just explain that again. Um, I've got 1,399 in the red there, as you can see. And I've got $286 in Binance, no point zero two Bitcoin. So what, what are you saying again? So hit the refresh so button real quick. Do you see that little, that circles right there? Yeah, let's see if, yeah. it, if it updates, if it changes, if that's brand new. So there you go. So that means right now in your Binance, if you open up your Binance, you're going to have about 0.1129 Bitcoin in your Binance in the Bitcoin balance if you open yeah. that up. Uh, so does that mean you can make a new bot with that then? Yeah, absolutely. You, you could make one new bot with about 0.1 Bitcoin, no problem, right now, and get it yeah. trading. And that won't interrupt to any of the other bots because they need Bitcoin to trade with, no? My. Yeah, they might already be trading at limit. So if you scroll down a little bit, Adrian, um, you know, some of these bots. So if you click on like test number four, that bot, just so I can look at it. So he's got 0.1 in action. So he's got the, the most that bot will trade at once for the most part is going to be 0.1 Bitcoin. So if you keep scrolling down a little bit for me, you'll see some of the trades that are pending. Keep going, keep going. You'll see some that are complete. Usually the older trades are going to be completed because they've already profited. Um, yeah. If he goes to page two, they're probably, yeah, you can show 100. You can show all of them. So as you go down, there's, there's one straggler there, Quantum. That'll probably rally eventually. But the older the trade, usually the more green it becomes. Now, if you look at that, Quantum's open. If you keep scrolling up, you'll see all these other trades that are open. If they combined up, two, three, four, keep going, five, six, seven keep going up eight nine ten boom so if each trades 150 bucks you've got you know 100 to 170 you got about 1500 in action he told this robot 0.1 bitcoin so this robot is at its max it's trading at about 0.1 bitcoin so it will not go above that until one of these sell gets back into bitcoin and completes and then it might buy another one so right now this bot is kind of at max because because Adrian told it, hey, I want you to trade 0.1 Bitcoin. That's what it's going to use. And at one time right now, he's already at that cap, if that makes sense, Tay. So, so yeah. Yeah. Um, what do you recommend what Tay just said then? Set up another um, set up another robot to take away this 1,000. So you know, I'll just sit back and do nothing. You, you know, that's completely up to you guys. Um, I would ask Jess, some of the other people that were pro traders that were quoting on here, I would ask those pro traders, what do you think is going to happen over the next 48 hours? And if they said, you know what, Tony, I think the market's going to skyrocket. 
If I were you, I would turn on new bots and get that in action as quick as possible. If they said, you know what, hold tight. It's still going to be a rocky road for the next week or two. I would hold tight, you know, so I try and lean on professionals to get my advice. And, and you know what, sometimes they're right. Sometimes they're wrong, but I don't know enough about the marketplace to make my own decision on, yeah, this is going to be a great environment to trade. So I would just lean on people that know a little bit more than me. Um, the bots themselves, if the market skyrockets and it's kind of rocky for the next few days, but a week from now it skyrockets, all those trades are probably going to go green anyways. So it's not a bad thing if you turn the bots on. Like I said, I'm sitting here talking to you guys. Adrian and I both have bots turned on and active right now. So we'll see what happens. But if I get a tip from a friend that's a pro and he says, hey, it's going to skyrocket, I'll turn on more bots and get some action going. Okay. Just one more thing, quickly, if you don't mind. Yeah, go on. Yeah, carry on. Yeah, go on. Yeah, um, on my um, on my back office, I accidentally pressed um, stop by on four of my bots. Yeah. Now I'm trying to activate them, but it's saying insufficient balance, which obviously that makes sense. But what do I need to do there then to get them active? Do I need to add more funds or wait for that balance to build up? Yeah, wait for the balance to build up. There's no, there's no um, self-destruct button or anything. What that means is you've got all your, your trades are inactive. Like we showed Adrian's bot where it was in action. It had the point one in there. So most of your trades are already in action. And so they'll still sell. Even though the bot is paused and it says you need to activate, but there's a little air, they're still going to sell. Anything that goes profitable, it will continue to sell on your behalf. When it sells... It's going to go back into Bitcoin, and then you can unpause those bots pretty easily as it goes back into Bitcoin. Okay, so, cheers. Thanks. Yeah. You're welcome. Okay, brilliant. Tay, thanks for that. Let me just see. I think um, Franklin, do you want to ask a question live on the microphone? Um, just put a question in the chat. Let me have a look. Okay. Um, thanks, Adrian. Yeah, here you go. I want to ask if... Uh, does it mean that the bot the bot is always on profit? Is there any any uh, possibility for the bot to go on uh, loss, like sell below the order? That's if you don't click on automatic sell. Does it actually just wait until the uh, price of Bitcoin rises above the uh, the price it bought it initially? Correct. It will never sell at a loss, Franklin. So yeah, it's programmed only to sell at one percent profit or more. That's it. Okay. So the hybrid, you can set a stop loss on. And so you can force it to sell at a loss if it hits the stop loss that you set for it. Um, the automatic, unless you make it take a loss, it is, it's not allowed. It won't do it. Oh, okay. Um, looking at uh, Adrian's dashboard, I can see that most of the profits, I think the highest profit I've seen there is about 5% profit. Okay. What's the, the highest you have seen? I've had some bots. Is there a possibility to make up to 10% profit? In it? Okay. I've seen bots go to 17%. I've seen a couple at 24% complete. But the, oh. the, the way the bots are set up, if you look at some of the trades, and, and let's see that. Show me that bot again, the one, uh, the test four. That's got the most trades in it, Adrian. Yeah. Scroll down a little bit for me. Um, did somebody complete? All right, that's good. Uh, down to the bottom of the completed trade. Yeah, show 100. That'd be great. Yeah. Um, so uh, that's good right there. Um, so, like, you see the RCN coin um, okay. up a little bit. So right there, right there, bang, bang, and then up a little bit more. Uh, there's two more. Uh, up yeah. a little bit more. There's, a, there's two bangs right there. There's a QSP that went bang, bang, 250 M243. So what that's doing, Franklin, yeah. is, is the bot, instead of just buying and holding and waiting it for those coins to okay. go to their max, it's buying, yeah. selling it, buying back in at the dip, selling it okay. again at profit, and doing it over and over. And so that's, that's why you'll see a lot more 2% and 3% because a lot of times it's going to buy at the, and sell at a peak buy back into the dip if it thinks that coin is going to continue to rise. And that's what we want it to do. Okay. Okay. Now I, I see uh, most of you activated up to five to 10 uh, 
bought to trade at the same time. Now, does it mean that when you pay for a subscription, you get entitled to just one bot? Like if I pay $500, how many bots can I get entitled to? You can turn on as many as you want, pretty much. It's almost unlimited. Oh. Yeah, so okay. you can, it's one license. The license allows you to turn on as many bots as you want. I guess, you know, if you can trade $2,500 and each trade is a hundred bucks, you could set up 25 bots to trade 0 0.01 Bitcoin for each one. Now you okay. would have to manage all 25 bots if you wanted to change coins out and check the, the you know, performance and all that. But you okay. know, that'd be your preference if you wanted to turn on that many, you could. Okay, all right, all right, thank you. You're welcome, Franklin, thanks for the question. Okay, yeah. um, just one more question on my, well, I'm sharing my screen, am I, am I still sharing my screen? No, I'm not. Uh, what's with regards to the ones shown in the red, you were saying on a few other uh, hangouts we did, uh, Tony, that um, you not really bought how far these going to minus. I, I got two of them, minus 15, uh, only one 15 and one of minus nine. Are you worried about these yeah. more than the, about this, the smaller ones? Not okay. at this point, no. When the market okay. rallies, I, I was at first, Adrian, but I've had some that went minus 50, minus five zero, that four days later came back and, and executed complete green. I mean, it's such a volatile industry. I just don't get too worried anymore. What I look at is my Binance. So if you can give me a screen share real quick, um, yeah. let me have an option to, to, to take it from you. There you go. Uh, so let me, let me just share this with people. I'm just, so I'm how just I make a decision okay. on my bots is pretty simple. I look at, okay, so I, I can look at, at my robots and let me go into one that's, that's active, that's trading right now. So this one right here has got quite a few trades. So I've got reds. Quite a few of them, and, and that one, Zcash, you know, oh, I don't know if Zcash is gonna come back. Now, if a pro came to me and there was Twitter news and somebody said Zcash is done, it's going to zero, if I heard that, I would click sell now right now. Like if I trusted it, you know, obviously there's extenuating circumstances, but, but barring that, barring some kind of major crazy news coming out, I don't really worry about the red at all because you know, Bitcoin could move up or down. That percentage is when it was bought. And I look at my Binance. That's what I look at. Am I cool with this amount of BTC? Which I am because I started with 0.57 and 0.95 is a lot more than 0.57 for me. So if I look at a trade like Zcash I, and I go, all right, this is down. And I go to my, my back office and I go to Zcash on Binance and I go, listen, the total value of all my Zcash, I'm holding, you know, quite a bit of it, you know, a couple that are in order right now. Am I all right with that amount? Because if I sell now, that amount doesn't change. It's just going to take it from Zcash. Let's see how much that is. So I've got 0.23 Zcash. So it'll take 0.23 of the Zcash that's in here and it'll move that balance when it sells it into here. Mm. That's all it's doing. So the value isn't going to change at all. So I don't care about the red. I care about this number here. If I'm cool with this number, I don't mind selling now and freeing up the troops. If mm. I wasn't cool with this number and I thought the market's going to rally, I would wait until Zcash rallied and then it would sell it on its own. That's my personal preference. You can come up with your own philosophies, mm -hmm. but I really only care about the amount of Bitcoin that I'm holding. I don't care about the US dollar amount at all. Um, Bitcoin's up and down. I believe Bitcoin is going to hit 15 to 20,000 in February. I could be way off. I could be wrong. Um, but if I'm right, I want to keep adding to this number. Because I know this number is going to go up and down. And you, you, yeah, your Bitcoin has, has more or less it's doubled in the last four weeks since you started. This that's, that's, that's really going somewhere. We won't expect that, you know, I'm quite happy to double my Bitcoin every six, seven, eight, even nine months. So to double right. it, that's really going somewhere, isn't it? It's a great idea if you can pull it off, for sure. 
you know, but you can't expect to double it every single month. You've, you've doubled it in the last month, but you, you can't expect that every month, surely. No, no. I mean, they've had great averages over the last 12 months. You know, they've averaged no guarantees, but they've averaged 95% a month. Now, some months were barely up. Some months were up over 100 plus percent. But, you know, we've also got to realize what did cryptocurrency do over the last 12 months? It, it's, it went up. It went up pretty aggressively. So our bots were going to do the same thing. And so the bottom line is, I believe that's going to happen again this year. So I'm excited to be involved and be trading this year so I can experience some of those monthly gains. Okay, so just got two more questions coming in. Um, why, are stop, why, are, why are there no stop losses set in, in trading? It's very dangerous and uh, your account could be possibly wiped out. Um, they don't stop loss unless it's a hybrid trade. So a hybrid will put a stop loss. If you're worried, that's the deal. You know, it's not dangerous for me because the amount of money that I put in there is what I'm willing to risk, right? It, 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 here's my thoughts on, on somebody. Somebody can be more risk tolerant than me. Somebody can be more risk averse than me. My philosophy is don't put in more money than I'd be willing to lose in a poker game tonight. So if I went to the Bellagio in Vegas and I, I joined a poker tournament and the buy-in was $10,000, I'm going to assume if I'm in a huge poker tournament that I'm not going to win. You know, like if there's 10, the World Series of Poker, I'm probably going to lose my 10000 but I'm okay with that. Like if I'm okay with that. I'll be able to live. I'll be able to go grocery shopping. I'll be able to pay mortgage. I'll be able to pay insurance. I'm fine with that. Now, if you're terrified and you need a stop loss, then what you would do is put lower amounts in there and watch your bots. Click sell now. Um, but, but here's the deal. The two new bots that come out could potentially have stop loss. But here's my thought. The 15 coins that are automatically picked, think about them. Ethereum, Ripple, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Gold. If those coins, if there, so there's no stop loss. If they go to zero, if, you're, if those coins go to zero and you're in cryptocurrency at all, we're all dead meat. We're all going to lose it all. So this, there's no stop loss needed for me because if those big coins go to zero, that means it's over. Crypto's gone. Bill Gates doesn't think that's going to happen. Elon Musk doesn't think that's going to happen. They could be right or they could be wrong. But I'm in the camp that I believe that they're right. I believe we're just at the start of cryptocurrency. So I don't need a stop loss on the big 15 coins. Now, what I would say is if you go on to hit BTC and put a brand new coin on there, that's crazy. I would never put a brand new coin on the Autobot because of what this person just asked. There's no stop loss. Absolutely. So a brand new altcoin, I might trade that with a hybrid. I can, I can attach a stop loss in there. That protects me. That protects my investment. But for the big 15 altcoins, if, if they go to zero, and if, let's say Ripple went to zero by itself, then I'm probably, let's say I'm in 10 Ripple trades, I lose $1,500. But I still have the bots that are trading the other $8,500. I'm fine with that. That's a risk I'm willing to take. A lot of the newer coins tend to be more of a pump and dump, don't they? The ones that are pretty established now have, have gone past that pump and dump, haven't they? Newer ones they have. I mean, Ethereum's been around for a long time. Ripple, you know, you've got the banks that are working with Ripple off and on. And so, you know, it is what it is. If you're going to play in crypto, it is a speculative market. There's no doubt about it. And so you've got to understand, you know, if somebody comes to me, Adrian, and says, I want to turn $10,000 into $11,000 this year, I go, okay, let me get you in touch with my Charles Schwab stockbroker. And he'll help you get into a mutual fund and maybe a couple stocks that pay dividends. And we'll see if we can't do that. If you come to me and say, you know what? I want to turn 10,000 into 30,000 this year. I go, all right, you're in the right place. Like that it doesn't, it's, it's cryptocurrency. You're in the right place. Like that's the place you could do it. You could turn 10,000 into a hundred thousand in cryptocurrency. People have done it. People have turned 10,000 into 10 million. So is there more risk? Probably. Yeah, it's probably riskier than buying Apple stock and just holding on to it. But is there a potential way more reward? Absolutely. There's no doubt about it. It's been proven since 2009 when this stuff was created with Bitcoin that there's way more upside over the history than anything the world has ever seen before.
the dot com boom, the real estate boom, uh, the anything the world's ever seen, they've never seen anything like this. So yeah. I want to be part of it. I don't want to sit on the sidelines and watch well, it. Just two more questions. One from a guy called Jim and one and one from myself, probably to finish off, unless somebody wants to ask on the microphone again. Jim is asking about spillover. Um, obviously that's another subject, isn't it, with regards to the um, the, the compensation binary, is that right? Want to explain that yep. to the new people? Yep, there'd be some spillover. So what is he asking about spillover? Just on the binary, the matrix, or just oh, overall? Is, all he's asking, is there spillover? So I'm assuming, that's it, is there spillover? That's just, whatever you get positioned in the binary, depends on your sponsor, really, isn't it? Yeah, it depends on your sponsor. There could be spillover. If, if you know, for me, there's not. Um, I, I built, we've got over a thousand people in the team and, and I built the left leg and the right leg and the left leg and the right leg. And I don't ever plan on spillover. If I get any, whoever did it, I'll take them out to dinner when I see them. I think that's great. Uh, if you're working with a leader like Adrian, you know, it's possible you could get some spillover, you know, and that's, a, that's just a bonus. Uh, the matrix will create spillover pretty much. It's automatic. It's force matrix three by 20. So if you're in there, chances are you're going to get some spillover sooner or later. Yeah. Um, the cool thing about the matrix is you could literally get some spillover and make 5% off of a leader that came under you. You could make some big money on accident just by being at the right place at the right time. Because you still got to build the other leg. You, you may get spillover from me in one leg, but you still got to build the other leg, haven't you? It's a binary. Correct. Yeah, you still got to work it. You still got to do it. Free, there's, no free, there's no free ride in a bind. You got to put some work in on the other leg. Absolutely. Yeah. And one, one question from me, which is pretty important. I, I, I'm logged into my back office here now, okay? On the, um, on the, on the, the binary side. Do you want to explain this? Um, I'm familiar with this, but for the new people, I have to make um, a payment, a, a weekly payment of 20% of my commissions. If I don't pay that within five days, they, they're going to block my account. You want to explain that? In, um... Yeah, they're just going to turn your bots off, Adrian. So your bots are trading right now. And each week, they take the amount of profit you make and they charge 20% of the profit. So we've got to send that in to the company. It yeah. accounts for the floating loss, any of the red trades. It accounts for all that. And then after that's accounted for, it goes, okay, here's what Adrian made. He needs to send 20% to us. And half of that goes to the company. The other half goes into the matrix and you can pay with your available, meaning you can pay with your commissions from the company or you can deposit Litecoin into your LTC balance. You can pay with Litecoin. Um, so it'll give you a wallet for Litecoin. You can buy some Litecoin and send it in there and use that to pay um, the about 80 US dollars. It looks like $80 and 10 cents. If you don't pay it, then they just shut your box down. Now, Adrian will still be able to make money, still be able to bring people in, do the business, get to binary, get the cycles. He just won't be able to use the bots to trade. They won't sell any existing positions he's in. He'll have to manually trade out of those. Um, so I don't recommend that. I recommend just paying and, and keeping your bots turned on because they're working. They're working. Last week was not a great week for the market and Adrian's still up anyways. So that's a good thing. So he probably wants that to continue. So and this twenty uh, percent, this is twenty percent commission from the bots, not from the not from the binary. The commissions you make in the binary, not just the bots, just yeah. the trading. That's it. Only trades. Yeah. Okay. That's brilliant. That's cleared up a lot of stuff for for, um, for a few people. Uh, I'm I'm more or less finished. Um, unless anyone's got any more questions, want to put their hands up to come on the microphone, or let's see if anyone's got their hands up. I think we're all done. I think um, let's have a quick check through the chat. Yeah, so what we're going to do, guys, we're going to um, obviously it's subject to Tony's availability on mine. We're going to try and do these at least um, three times a week. And I think this has probably been one of the best hangouts since we started doing this. It's, it's obviously it's dragged on a bit, but it's, it's really good content for, and, val and value through this one. This has been recorded as well. So I'm just going to be testing certain times at random, whether it be 4, uh, 4 30 p.m. UK time or 9 p.m. It's going to be one of those times. And uh, I'm, I'm going to chop and change sort of throughout the week, Monday to Friday. I'm going to go from there. So um, I'm going to call it a night. Thanks, Tony, for all your time. That's brilliant what you've done. Really excellent you. value. And I think a lot of people have learned a lot from this. How long we've been going? Uh, a, good hour and, um, a good hour and 15 minutes. Okay, Tony, thanks yeah. for everything. Thanks a lot, everybody. Take care. Cheers, everyone. All the best, guys. Cheers, Cheers.